Since the Ukrainian armed forces launched an operation in the Kursk region two weeks ago, public sentiment toward President Vladimir Putin among Russians has deteriorated. This is according to an analysis of social media and other online posts reports the New York Times. Citing an analysis by Filter Labs AI, the New York Times reports that many online posts claim the Ukrainian armed forces operation in the Kursk region is a failure of the Russian government, particularly of Russian President Vladimir Putin, according to RBC Ukraine. Given the difficulty of accurately gauging public opinion in Russia, Filter Labs monitors social media comments, online posts and news websites using a computer model to analyze sentiments expressed by ordinary Russians. The analysis indicates that positive sentiment towards Putin began to wane last year, particularly after the military uprising led by Wagner Group's head, Yevgeny Prigozhin. However, the shift in attitudes became more pronounced when Ukraine launched its operation in the Kursk region. Putin's response to the incursion was seen as inadequate at best and insulting at worst, said Jonathan Tubner, the chief executive of Filter Labs. Sentiment towards the Russian president remains more positive in Moscow, where the government exerts tighter control over the media and public discourse. However, even in the capital, opinions of Putin have deteriorated, albeit not as rapidly as in other parts of the country. The analysis shows growing disillusionment with the Kremlin in Russia's more remote regions. American officials have cautioned that it's too early to determine whether the damage to Putin's reputation will be lasting. They noted that Putin's standing in Russia quickly rebounded after Prigozhin ended the uprising and the Russian leader consistently demonstrated an ability to manipulate public opinion about himself. However, a sustained loss of popularity could complicate the Kremlin's ability to wage war in Ukraine. Sentiment toward Putin has sharply declined in the very regions of Russia where the Kremlin focuses its military recruitment efforts. The Kremlin's recruitment strategy depends on its ability to manage perceptions of the war. If Putin's prestige and popularity fall in these key regions, the Kremlin may find it more difficult to fill its military ranks. The Filter Labs analysis noted, the Kremlin continues to influence how national Russian media cover the war, with only a few outlets releasing significant materials. However, regional news outlets are less inclined to embellish the news. It is noteworthy that according to a report by the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Alexander Syrsky, one more settlement in Russia came under Ukrainian control. At least three trucks transporting military products from Poland to Ukrainian armed forces have burned on the way. The trucks bound to Ukraine contained helmets, body armor and boxes with mortar charges for the Ukrainian armed forces, Russian media has reported. Residents of the surrounding villages of Aleksandrovis and Murovits have said that the explosion in the trucks occurred over the course of two hours. Video footage of the fire and explosion has been published in social media. The firefighters were unable to promptly extinguish the fire due to the explosions of the ammunition. As a result, a large amount of military aid bound to Ukraine burned out completely. The sound of flying fragments and detonation can be clearly heard in the video. The villages are located in southern Poland. The trucks were traveling along the A4 motorway, which is part of the Krakow Bypass Road. Nearby is the Krakow Ballas International Airport which, in turn, is located next to the 8th Air Force Base of the Polish Air Force and jointly operates a runway. A missile attack was launched in the Rostov region of Russia. Local telegram channels reported on this. It is noted that on the night of August 21, units of the Ukrainian Navy, in coordination with other defense forces components, struck an S-300 anti-aircraft missile system near the town of Novoshaktinsk in Russia's Rostov region, citing the Ukrainian general staff. The military confirmed that explosions were observed at the target locations, and the accuracy of the strikes is currently being further assessed. Russian forces frequently use S-300 systems not only for air defense but also to attack civilian cities in Ukraine, leading to the destruction of residential buildings and terrorizing the civilian population.